Okay. Uh, warm good evening to everybody. And uh, today is an important day for all the FMG aspirants who are uh, writing the exam this uh, upcoming January 20th. And uh, we have with us our guest faculties and uh, our mentors with us, Dr. Raju Dhawan sir and Dr. Nadeem. And uh, they'll be guiding you through the application process. There are a lot of queries coming up from the students uh, since the date has been announced from three o'clock onwards. Students have been, you know, messaging continuously since the application form uh, details have come out. So this is a more of an interaction to help you guide what all the uh, queries students generally have during application filling and uh, what you should take care of the documentation. And we also have Dr. Ruthwig joining from Delhi also. He'll also help assist you with uh, your Q&A. So feel free in the discussion to bring up your queries, whatever queries you had or whatever issues you feel during the whole filling of the application form. And uh, the team will take up all your queries step by step. And I'm really thankful to Dr. Ajitavan, sir, for taking out time and Dr. Nadeem, sir, for taking out time for this important uh, discussion for the students, especially for the regards with application uh, form and the notifications. Warm welcome, sir. Dhawan, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so today is the important day. And uh, when the no exam uh, is announced and when the forms come, we get really serious about it, number one. I think that's a very good, well, now we are really a milestone to really you know, look forward to that uh, we are so many days away from the examination. But uh, from uh, our experience, I, we would like to say uh, that please read the bulletin properly because people are in a huge rush to finish the application process. And I don't know what is the fastest finger first year. That's not required at all. Let us be very composed as you are, uh, you know, filling this form because if you fill this form properly in one go, it would save you a lot of time in the later part because you don't have anything to need to look, uh, you know, like add it and then really resubmit. Couple of suggestions, sir, at this moment. Uh, number one would be that I always say do not use any mobile or tablet to fill the form because it should be a laptop and please arrange that. And it should have a very high quality camera, at least a reasonable quality co camera because one photograph you have to click live over there because that that is very important number one number two do not use any you know unusual browser people have got that standard browsers are always good and uh, they have recommended some browsers also if you see but if you use the chrome it's a wonderful one generally there is no technical you know problem number three the payment is not reflected immediately when you pay through upi so have patience do not make a double payment and do not get panic once submit the form and if the payment issue comes, you think you got a message, suddenly people start getting panicking. Wait, do UPI take some time to reflect in your you know, account late? Just give it 24 hours or 48 hours, you will get it. So don't be in panic. And the fourth thing is, do it not today only, and but don't keep it for the last day also. Because last day, the, the, the server get a lot of traffic, so they are slowing down on the website in those days also. So just a couple of days from now, submit the form and keep, you know, three choices in your mind about the test centers, one, two, three, and I think one or the two will, will get it. So we need not panic too much around, you know, these things, because the reason of submitting the form at the earliest is this one only, that I must get the center number one of my choice. And you know, in most places, they, they have more centers, one or the place will get it, or maybe just a little bit later to that will get it. So because anything done in a haste would create a problem. Uh, we have uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Ruthwik with us and Dr. Nadeem sir is also with us. Dr. Nadeem sir, uh, good evening. And uh, I would like to, you know, um, you know, hear your inputs for the students. Uh, what can make them, you know, really submit the form properly? All of you, very good evening. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, uh, since the morning, I'm getting so many queries, actually, so first, the most important query is so many students have asked me, sir, where to choose the center, right? See, suppose if you are doing coaching in New Delhi or in Hyderabad, and if you are thinking that you want to write the exam at your home center or maybe in your state, like, first of all, please understand this part here that even one day will be very, very expensive for you. So where to choose this center? Uh, see, first of all, I would suggest you as per your convenience. Second, most important point, if you are doing coaching in New Delhi, now you are if in, uh, like in the, right, in the New Delhi. First of all, please select the center there itself. Because like suppose if you are going to choose the center in Bihar or Rajasthan or somewhere else, 
before the exam at least for one day you will have to go there before so you will be wasting one day so that will be very very expensive for you right so please choose this center wisely right after that second question what they have asked me what about ec neat passing certificate for 2018 people see here ec is mandatory but suppose 2018 student neat passing certificate will be enough that will be equivalent to your EC. So don't be panic about that. After that, signature and the thumbprint, most of the students will be doing this kind of mistakes, sir. Like especially in the thumbprint, most of the students, when they do this kind of printing, so what they do, so they're going to press it very hard. So this will be foolishness. See here, all the thumbprints will be merging, no? So that will be rejected for sure. So you have to be very, very much careful. Like at that time, whenever you are giving your thumbprint, no? so you have to give a light touch. See here, minimum 16 lines should be there like minimum 16 lines should be visible right now so uh, like whenever you are going to give the thumbprint okay so don't uh, don't get it merged right now signature should be in the box and as per the requirement kb right now as per the required now after that what about your certificate so many students are asking sir like we are having some issues related to documents uh, related to degree see here your degrees your certificates must be attested by the Indian Embassy. I mean, this is mandatory. See, remember here, if your degrees are not attested, this will not be accepted. First of all, very, very important thing. After the C year, which degrees are important? First of all, your MBBS degree, your passing, your passing certificate. After that, the certificate of class 10, 12th, EC, and of course, your passport. So these are the basic, basic queries which I have been receiving since morning Saturday. And I think like so many people are live. So they yeah. are going to ask some more question. Yeah. One question which people ask is that uh, if eligibility certificate applied and you have not still got it. So what is the rectification for that? Wait for a couple of more days. Don't submit it. By the time the last week comes and you are really are actually having panic now that what if I don't get it? You have got a receipt of submitting the application for eligibility certificate. Please upload that receipt in place of that. That's the last resort you have. In case you have that problem, first you wait for till the tail end of it, but don't give you the last day because the whatever receipt you have got, you have to just apply with that receipt that, okay, it is still awaited, number one. So number two, sir, there is a very big, uh, you know, um, you know, I think uh, Dr. Dutri will also agree that there is a discrepancy between the name on the passport versus eligibility versus degree. Now, this yes. is a very huge situation. Uh, Dr. Ruthwick may ask you that, yes, uh, you know, like, uh, what is your take on that? That if, for example, I'm a student, I'm first timer. Uh, sir, yeah. as per the uh, NBE uh, norms, the name of the candidate, it should be as in their primary medical qual uh, qualification certificate. That's the degree. In the same order, like let's say the name is Ruthwick Rajanna on the degree and it should be the same in the application form. And uh, what if the passport name and the eligibility certificate name is having a mismatch? So would shall we uh, be keeping degree as the primary name? Degree is the primary name. That's been clearly mentioned by uh, the ND board that uh, degree should be considered as the name. Wonderful. Uh, Dr. Nadeem, uh, any input from your side, sir? Uh, sir, it's the same thing. Like uh, so many students yeah. have the same question, right? So what should yeah. be their first name? So that should be equivalent to that degree, sir. So, right? uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's a very, very huge, yeah, that's yeah. a very huge uh, uh, clarification because this is the rampant question right now on every social media that if there's a mismatch, as Dr. Butwick and Dr. Nadeem very nicely told, that take your name on the medical qualification, which is MBBS, as the name to apply for the, you know, this exam also, because this should match. If there is any query comes, you will have to reply to that appropriately later on. But uh, I think that point is pretty valid. Sir, just now one question I have got in my WhatsApp actually. Sir, my all documents, including my EC, my degree, have the date of birth of 1998. Only passport has 97. Which date of birth should I fill in the form? In the 10th certificate, what whatever we have so in India. So from 10th onward, if you have the same certificate managed in your educational, you know, uh, qualification everywhere, 
I think that's what we follow, sir. Khalil, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, I think that should be uh, right one, sir. The date of birth in your uh, 10 certificate, that will be more valid for all the other documentations also. And yeah. uh, a lot of Q&As are coming from the students. There are a very different variety of questions. One student is saying, which university name should I fill in case of university transfer? Uh, one, sir, uh, Ruthvik, anybody has a... Uh, sir, the the name of the university should be same as name of what's, what's on the degree, from which they obtained the degree. Mm. Yeah, because they have never done there anyway, they have not asked for what is eligibility certificate university name. So we can there are two things only regarding eligibility certificate that is the date of issue and which is clearly mentioned at the signature part. A lot of students don't look at the signature part. So date of issue is mentioned on the signature part and the eligibility certificate copy has to be uploaded. Okay, so and very, very appropriate. I think uh, may I say that. If you have got two universities and uh, uh, what Dr. Ruthwick is saying that let us fill that name which you have got finally in the degree because they that's what they are. So name on the degree and name of university on the final degree should be filled up in the form. This should match. Everybody, uh, I think aligned with that, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree with that. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, one more question, sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, is it like that if we fill the form early, there are more chances of getting a center in the city of choice? So that is the reason there is a rush. <laughs> I, I, as uh, Dr. Nadeem said, this is one night you have to really spend somewhere else because, you know, if you start panicking right now, probably Ajmer is already full, you have to go to Bikaner. You know what? So it's okay. You will get it and plan the travel. But if I would be an FMG, I would take a deep breath and, you know, like prepare myself properly and then fill the form rather than wasting five days, sleepless nights. What if my form is not accepted finally by them? Because that, that you know, mental peace is very much important for the later part of preparation. Let's invest now to be peaceful later on. Maybe in a few kilometers of drive or, you know, like we have to plan, that is maybe required. But yes, a couple of centers would be full. So I'll keep three centers in your mind, actually. So that, that as, don't as be in as, panic. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I feel all the documents are ready, should I feel it's better to go ahead and fill the form. If yeah. you can in your city of choice in case but nothing to panic and do in a hurry but it's just a one day of travel or you know few plans a few planned hours of travel should ease out that pressure yeah yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. any students are asking do we need to self-attest all the documents uh, dr ruthwick dr nadim no sir uh, self-attestation is not required just the scanned copy of the word documents are enough okay and uh, one more question sir Eligibility certificate uh, is not mil raha hai tak. Please uh, do something. I mean, there are a lot of students who get uh, certificates or the clarity of the certificates. Even I have seen three days before their hall ticket or three days before the exam date also. They keep on having this thing. So, uh, any inputs, uh, sir? Yeah. So, I said that ki, uh, like receipt of applying for eligibility can be uploaded in its place. Sir. That's why last time they accepted it. So, they, they know that it is in process. They already know there is a lot of waiting is going on. So, mm -hmm. Let's wait a little few couple of days, but if it's not coming, then you submit as per that. Okay. Ruthvik, you have seen students getting eligibility certificates very late, uh, even after filling the application form. Is that happened? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. See, uh, in case, like as uh, the one sir said, we can upload the acknowledgement receipt as of now. And when the, in later during the editing window, uh, the eligibility certificate original can be updated. And sometimes this get delayed. Like I've seen cases where like one week before the exam, also students have got it, but the uh, NB keeps recurrent mail, uh, they keep sending recurrent mail to students to upload the same. So please keep checking your uh, emails. If you have any document uh, clarifications, don't be our you know, medical students that don't check their emails regularly, at least from the documentation time now, please make it a point that you regularly follow up with your uh, spam, spam and also your you know primary inbox so that you don't miss important notifications from NB. And uh, one more yeah. thing, uh, sir, uh, so date of joining and date of passing to be filled on which basis? I think the date of joining, uh, Ruthvik, you have filled it up, date of joining, date of passing. Yes, uh, yes. the date of joining is considered to be what's on admission letter. When the students take admission to the university, the date of uh, uh, joining is considered to be that. And date of uh, finishing should be considered what's on the degree, the final degree, what they've got. Okay. Uh, okay. That's aligned, sir. Yeah, yeah, definitely. These are, these are very good points for everybody. I think we can summarize it also. 
that uh, the date of your eligibility once you get the allotment letter. I think that is what admission letter. That's the date yeah. of joining. Yeah. And date on degree is the date of the finishing the qualification. That's yeah. wonderful. Uh, so a lot of questions about the again eligibility certificate. I think Dr. Dutri has clarified that we can submit that uh, acknowledgement receipt and in the edit window, you will be able to upload in case by the time you receive it. So yes, that's not really uh, prohibited. So and surname and first name, Dr. Nadeem, uh, uh, Dr. Ruthwik, uh, anyone who knows which name to be filled first, do they mention it? That surname? Sir, uh, see, usually the, they are not specifically asked surname or first name. So it's again, as I told, primary, what's on primary education qualification. So degree name as in the same order. If the surname is first, surname, or if the first name is first, first name. Wonderful. I think the, the, this statement has made a lot of questions really easy. That let us try the same name as we have the degree, actually. I think that really saw 30-40% question are about these this thing one. I don't think there's a much of a worry unnecessarily students should have about the initials or the surnames. The NB has not, never been that strict. They've always uh, permitted for that, but uh, to try to see that the name in the degree is matching with your application that you're filling up. And uh, question, sir, one question what they're asking, you know, okay, my full name is Muhammad, M-O-H-A-M-M-E-D, but in my degree like this were written only M-O-H-D, so short form and their full form. Right now, so whatever you have full name on your degree, please go according to that. Right now, so in India, M-O-H-D and M-O-H-A-M-M-E-D, uh, that will be equal here. Okay. For this, there is no any problem. Sir, and uh, there is one uh, question which a uh, couple of uh, fresh graduates from Philippines are asking uh, that are we eligible to write the, the December 2023? Uh, so, so this time they have clearly specifically mentioned the date uh, so that if the primary, the qualified degree is completed before 31st of October 2023, they are all eligible to apply for the exams. Okay. Yeah. With the, that, the update which uh, came uh, day before, we have to follow that. As of now, that is the, uh, you know, like we have the update. Yes. Uh, sir, one question is there, Dr. Vivek is asking, sir, I have different signature on the passport and PAN card. What to prefer in the signature? Passport is the better. Answer. Uh, uh, so, signatures may change because if you're a minor when you applied for a passport, still valid. And, yeah. uh, you know, your signature, whatever you do now, you should remember that because your signatures, when you receive the final passing certificate, they have to be same, actually. You have to be very, you know, clear about that. So that's what we do understand that when you are a minor, you apply for passport, you might have a little different signature. But now, whatever you make should be same as what, please do remember that and you should know how to do it. That's what is important. They match that. And when you do signature, and upload that, please follow what they have said, the box size and, you know, do multiple boxes like that and choose the best one and use a good pen. It should not have any break and like that, you know, like because the more, you know, like, uh, you know, do practice a couple of times, then you do the final one. Same as Dr. Nadeem sir told about the, you know, thumb. These two things are really coming again back to us in the added window option. This is not clear. This is not really up to the mark. So that creates undo thing. So practice that and then, you know, choose the best out of that, then upload it. And scanner has to be good here. Yeah. So don't use, you know, very poor quality scanner again because invest time and, you know, resources in this. Yeah. Ruthwik, one question uh, is, uh, one like student is asking, uh, just uh, one student is asking uh, Raj Dhanush, how to remove a photo after getting it uploaded? Uh, do we have to wait for the edit window to open? Uh, sir, see, until December 13th, uh, except there are certain primary information, those are not editable. Other than that, all the other information are editable until December. They can just go open the portal, re-upload it. As simple as that. Okay. And uh, the date of joining according to passport immigration or admission letter? It is admission letter. The ones admission. That we are fine, right? yeah. admission letter. Mm. But Rutvik, there are a couple of things which cannot be edited at all. What are they? they, they uh, so a couple of the primary things which can't be edited or changed is the name, date of birth, phone number, and email ID of the candidate. These are the four, five things which are not, can't be edited. Well, so a parent's name, name and the first name. Yeah. Like name. Whatever you are writing on the first paper, that will not be edited. Yeah. After. Yeah. 
does it have the name of father and mother also does it no have... that can be changed sir that can be edited okay the uh, i'll repeat it it's the full name date of birth phone number mail id and the gender yeah, yeah. somebody asked that do we need to conform to this uh, limit of the your size of the uh, files pdf and the jpeg file yes you need to other will not accept it and if you go too low to 50 kb it will be like uh, very hazy image and it will not be good quality so touched wood will higher side but you can't go beyond it actually you have to follow that that's why because they they specified that okay. an interesting question if we don't have a surname what to fill in the surname <laughs> so there is nothing specifically asked as surname but as i told it's prime whatever is there on the degree it's same as same format same order as in degree and should we upload apostille and transcript along with degree certificate along with degree certificate should we upload the apostille and transcript a uh, transcript is not required sir in degree uh, they have clearly mentioned in the guidelines that the degree or the provisional passing certificate in specifically english version which is duly apostilled by the ministry locally or embassy or indian embassy uh, has to be uploaded okay okay and one more question sir davan sir one student is saying in my eligibility certificate there is a mistake i sent a mail about this change i didn't get the mistake corrected in my name i still didn't receive it what to do well you know uh, apply with the current one you have and then once you receive the edited one and in the edited window by the time you get it you upload it again okay yeah that's that's reasonable do we need to upload diploma in english only or or of the russian language or other languages that they studied from only in english sir yes, english. Don't, sir english version only only english do not do not put unnecessary document by the time they they'll find another issue over there so better stick to what they are asking okay. <laughs> and sir, after english applying the form no sir actually after applying the form they are going through all the all the documents to usme jahan pe bhi issue aata seedhe wo reject kar dete hain sir bolo i think uh, students should not panic also there will be an edit window to rectify all of uh, yes. except the first thing that dr prithvik had mentioned so pretty much do it sincerely for the first time as daman sir has mentioned take time don't be in a hurry do it properly with all your documents one student sir daman sir is a uh, ineligibility what do you mean by acknowledgement receipt way to get it yeah, they they apply actually they i think uh, dr prithvik do they have an idea they... about the acknowledgement receipt yeah. of Yeah, there is a acknowledgement receipt for the payment what they have done. That receipt can be yep. uploaded. Okay, okay. The payment that they have done for the eligibility. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. For degree, can we attach a postal? It has to be, sir. It has to be the degree along with a postal or the ministry, uh, Indian Embassy uh, attestation is compulsory. okay and some students have not received the degree uh, form bhar sakte hain ya nahi dr rajesh is asking that sir again uh, if they have finished their degree uh, the degree date is before 31st of october 2023 yes they can but if it is later part uh, i don't think so they can uh, dhaman sir i mean they have not received the degree yet uh, they may have qualified they have must have completed but there are some documentation problems they don't receive it in their hands so should they also apply and uh, should for the form or wait yes, for the, the, uh, yeah, as dr prithvik said we can apply sir, because by the time edit window come if you get it we can always upload that part why to lose that chance actually all right and it must be on the way it is in the process right now yeah sir one question is there i was studying in ukraine at the beginning but had to change my university so how to apply for the exam do i have to submit both the invitation forms both the earlier he was in the ukraine university now in the different university yes yeah, sir that's what uh, again uh, see if there is no mention of about uh, uh, uploading of uh, eligible uh, sorry invitation letter it's the eligibility certificate based on which uh, they have joined and degree this both are enough so admission letter of whichever university that they had taken initially and the degree from where they have obtained it right should should be okay if they have taken the admission letter in ukraine and they got the degree from russia that should that should be fine yeah name of university is the passing university like the which is issuing a certificate that's all okay 
Uh, there is one student saying that I have made a mistake in the form, did not fill grandfather's name behind father's name. Will it be a problem? I have already submitted my form. Uh, are they asking for that? Uh, Dr. Nikita is asking, in my form, I did not fill grandfather's name behind father's name. Will it be a problem, sir? Do we fill that the grandfather's name? Issues. I think father's name is required, I think. Yes. Only father's name is required. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thing. Any other queries, students? Okay, you, if you have any question, you can always put in the chat box of YouTube Live. Uh, yeah. We'll be happy to reply. Uh, Snow White is asking date of issue of eligibility certificate. Where is it written? Date of issue of eligibility certificate. Uh, so usually it's mentioned at the top. If not, consider the signature date as the date of issue of eligibility certificate. Yeah. It has a, dig a digital signature. Yeah. yeah. So that's a very common question right now. So may I say it again, uh, Dr. Ruthvik is saying that if it is not mentioned on the upper part of the certificate, then consider the signature date as your issue of the issuing the eligibility certificate, because this is a very common question right now, I'm, even I'm getting. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one more important question, Dr. Azhar is asking that uh, my passport has expired and should I uh, renew my passport and uh, should I have to renew my passport uh, or should I uh, submit the old passport? Dr. Ruthvik, you have an experience with this? Yeah, uh, sir, uh, regarding the uh, passport, uh, in initial uh, part of the form, uh, they may, uh, they ask about the passport details. We can click on no, and because when you click on yes, you need to enter a valid passport number and an expiry date. And this expiry date can't be put retrospectively. So they rather choose no and upload the copy of first and last page of the passport. Mm -hmm. So can you say it again? Yeah, sorry. Yes, sir. So if the password expired, then what's the best route to follow? Uh, they can choose it as no. They can put passport, uh, they issued passport, no, and upload the copy of the existing passport, which is expired. So it's accepted even if they mark it no passport, there, there's no valid passport. Yeah, no passport is there. Yeah. No valid passport right now. So, okay. No valid passport. Sir, one question actually I got my uh, like on my WhatsApp. Sir, is it something like that? Especially uh, like in this center, like students will fail more. Sorry, in one particular sir, center, sir, like in but like especially in like Pune to... center, they have asked about the Pune center. Okay, sir, is it really is it really true that especially at Pune center, students get failed more? It is not that center wise results will be prepared. It comes to common pool. So, guys, you know what? There are many theories to look. You know, I think let's study. Let's study. Okay. Very simple as that. You know, all these things happen, but you know, let's trust the you know software. It goes to software doesn't know from where you are coming actually. So it's okay. <laughs> Uh, one student is saying my on the NB website, the signature instructions, they have told no initials and they have given examples of the name written in full, but my passport signature is not written in full like that. Uh, should we follow the same signature of the passport or uh, should uh, they write the name? In NB website, on signature instructions, they have told no initials and they have given examples of the name written in full, but my passport signature is not written in full like that. So do you do do you, do you think uh, we need the signature of the passport to be followed? I I really uh, I I don't think so actually to be very honest, Miller, like <clears throat> because uh, you were a maybe a minor at that time actually. Now that things have changed and now you have a concrete uh, signature and yes, but again getting the certificate you will have to sign the same way. And one student is saying that my eligibility certificate got rejected and email that eligibility certificate is rejected and needs scorecard is your eligibility certificate. Uh, Dr. Varun is asking that question. So I think uh, if they have a neat qualification, I don't think they need to worry about eligibility certificate. Right, Ruthvik? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, as I mentioned previously also, there is only two information regarding the eligibility certificate need to be filled. One comes the issue date, the date of issue of eligibility certificate instead of which they can write the date of issue of the passing uh, need scorecard and on the scorecard there is a date mentioned they can upload the same date and instead of eligibility certificate they can upload need scorecard okay and uh, uh, apostille and degree ko saath mein upload karna hai or is it a separate uh, doc, separate uh, columns there 
सर अपोस्टिलन में करना है या इट्स इट्स सेम सेम पीडीएफ सर सेम पीडीएफ uh but again uh, they have to make sure the size of the pdf is uh, in the marked uh, zone like less than 400 kb okay uh, dhaman sir 120 is asking in ec my name is uh, my surname abbreviation is there in ec and college certificate i have different one which one should i follow for registration slight difference in the surname in eligibility certificate and college certificate any certificate is the final document as we have you know like uh, said since beginning uh, dr utvik clarified that you know degree certificate please put it on the form also but while putting your name please do not make the mistakes last time i got few mails that i wrote my name wrongly sir i i really cannot relate to that matlab like uh, please double check it because uh, dr utvik clearly told that that cannot be edited uh, this has happened in the past because we you know we do some mistakes like that like even you know gender sometimes people have really you know uh, stick somewhere else and all that why to have those things that's why i say you know have a cup of tea coffee relax double check and then submit actually so, but no need to panic about all these things you know it's okay degree certificate uh, whatever name is there put that and uh, uh, <clears throat> dr ruthvika said that eligibility is not required for 2018 need ug qualified people and the date of that certificate is the date of You know, like eligibility, whatever, fill in the same column. That's wonderful. Yeah. One student is asking: Is the admission letter and invitation letter by the university same or different? Doctor Ashish is asking. Uh, Ruthvik, admission it's letter. It's the same. It's the same, sir. The same. Okay. And uh, Doctor Gulam is asking that I have started my UG in Ukraine but completed in Kyrgyzstan. How to fill the form in this situation? I think he can put the admission of Ukraine and uh, the degree from Kazakhstan. Is it fair? Yes. Is it okay, right? If he has started uh, in uh, Ukraine, yes, okay. Mm. I lost the eligibility certificate. How can I get it? Any process uh, availability now? They need to contact the NB. Sorry, yeah. NMC. 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 Sir, one question is there. Like, uh, like at the time of admission, university name was different. After four years, university name got changed. so on my ec name is different on my degree name of the university is different what you do now name in the degree sir go with the name of the degree yeah, okay name in the degree will be fine but uh, so they will be they will be matching with ec also no, afterwards ec and degree like that and sir aapko kuch experience hai is isme aisa sir is pe clarification aayega aur wo i think mail aayega to usko reply karna padega i think that is what or you have to attach a supporting document for in case they like i have that but i think that uh, this is uh, like explainable i would say if they have got change the name <clears throat> they'll ask in the mail they'll ask for all any queries or any clarification they need if the university name is changed i think even uh, nmc would be aware of that but in case they have any doubt they would still again ask the student to reply back that time you can attach i think yeah so one thing i would like to tell everyone over here people have a fear that my form can be outright rejected by the nb both for this or that thing actually guys this is very very uncommon like that actually you you will get an op- opportunity to you know either reupload or really you know rectify whatever has gone wrong except for the couple of thing in the first page so <clears throat> so don't really have this thing but go with the common sense like whatever you you know you whatever you you know understanding from this conversation utilize that to fill the form and dr neville is very worried about the initials in his uh, signature i think neville you need not worry that much you can uh, write your name i think that should be acceptable they don't uh, create a uh, uh, ruthvik do, do you do they match the signature uh, with the passport that that so frequently no they don't match any signatures but we need to clearly avoid writing initials in the signature if the name is uh, we, we have to write the full name example if it's rahul sharma you should write it as rahul sharma the signature should show the full names and one one interesting question one student is from dubai dr joel is in dubai and he says my phone number should i use for registration my indian number or my dubai number indian number does not get service here so i won't get any sms uh sir they see initially during the login itself uh, they need to use a number where on which the otp is delivered so they need to use something some indian number which is active okay they can take help of the family or anybody who whom whose number they can you know get the notification and fill up your saying right yes okay and does uh, keep checking your email 
please empty okay. your email because sometimes your email is so full that the the mail go bounces back so make sure that active email with lot of you know space available that should be used and keep checking it in between and make sure you check the you know your spam folder and all also that nothing should be going there okay and is there is a change in the address in the ajuli certificate will it matter no right address is not really an issue actually address can keep change for anyone like that from the passport address is not you have now corresponding address like that it's okay okay your my address is changed mm. and one student is saying one apostle my apostle is in russian language will it be a problem apostle in russian language the document should be in english only english mein hona chahiye sir uh the degree has to be in english sir uh, apostle i think since a lot of countries have usually do it in local language that should be okay but the degree has to be in english then uske liye yahan se ek apostle yahan se karana padega to wo wo english mein hona chahiye okay so translation uh... yes sir that is needed needed okay, mm-hmm. okay. should we have to get new registration id and passport from nb boards or can we continue with nmc logins so this is a separate registration you have to do yes mm. it is separate this these two are different body altogether they don't share data like that so uh, you have to register separately and you know create the you know email and the uh, mobile number otp and register that and then start the processing of submission set uh, your form Uh, Dr. Ashish is asking. I need a clarification on date of joining. Will it be the date on which we signed our contract with the university, or the date on which we got the universe invitation letter? Date of signing the contract with the university, or date when we got the invitation letter? Invitation letters. The date of admission. Admission letter. The date has to be considered as the date of joining. I don't think the contract letter would matter. The date of our invitation letter would be more uh, valid, as Ruthvik says. Uh, Rajiv Dhanushree, you agree with that, right? Yeah, so, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. So. Akil Khan has said the same thing as the Dr. Nadim told that uh, whatever like Muhammad M O H D is there. So if your degree has what name, please write that. Okay, and I think this would really clarify rules. a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Is there any rule that signature should be the same as passport, or should we can upload new signature? It's never. I I I've seen the you know bulletin. It's not written that signature has to match with the passport. You know. like passport may be not valid as dr utvik said the passport is not valid today you can say no and upload your previous whatever in the in the you know like pdf but you know signature whatever you do should you should keep in mind keep it saved with you yes very important thing is all whatever you sending to the mb keep it in the folder and mail it to yourself also that you know literally forget what sign i did you should have a reference for that self mail to you Okay, or click a picture and save in your gallery also if you want. And Ruthvik, ten to twelve marks it upload. करना है क्या? The student uh, Dr. Rasing is asking. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, we'll need the information on twelfth standard uh, mark sheet, like uh, which I'll be showing it in the demo. That we need to put the information of how much marks were scored in physics, chemistry, and biology in the twelve from the twelfth mark sheet. The documents have to be not uploaded. Okay, okay. I fill my form by tab. Will it be a problem? I don't think so. But that, sir, I think the answer's in, uh, inclination was so that you have a more clarity of the whole content and much easier of your form filling rather than doing mistakes. You using phones and tab, the chances of doing more mistakes. Is it right, sir? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If your tab is like a high quality tab, then it's as good as the laptop only. But only thing is, we are we are saying is that the, the laptop, you know, like the clear picture comes and all that. That's what the thing is. But preferably not from the phone for sure. It can't be that casual also. Uh, Doctor Preeti Biswas, how to uh, say how to translate the Russian apostille to English? I think that can be done with the help of an advocate in India. Okay, I think a Russian apostille also can be tried, and then in the background they can try, try to have this uh, translation also done. And uh, Ruthvik, uh, one student is asking, I am trying to do the payment for a while, and all the sources are not loading. What to do? uh sir in such cases they can just uh, log out for now and try again data because uh, they are uh, using sbi uh, as the primary bank sometime there is lot of uh, server issues but uh, when when they re log in and try to uh, do the payment part the they have to make sure they choose the city 
the city allocated would be gone. So you will have to make sure you choose that and do the payment. So every time they're trying to uh, redo the payment, they need to choose the city properly and then pay, pay it off. A anything in Padil Rothwik was much easier any way to have an easy payment. Many students have this issue that any specific card or any any bank that is much more accessible. Sir, UPI or any debit card is the most optimal and it is easy processing. Okay. UPI payments and debit cards. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to upload Russian degree also along with English translation of the degree? The no, only the English English part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ruthvik, is it happened that uh, people who fill the form late uh, they don't get uh, centers in you know main cities and they have to travel a lot? Is that the uh, have you, I mean, how many how much window period did you feel that way when you're dealing with most of the students? So, uh, like each city wise, uh, like NB has a pre allocated number of seats, so it's always on first come, first serve basis. Mm -hmm. So, there and the student can only choose the city, not the center. So, based on the city filling choices, and okay. I think what uh, Kamil sir rightly said that don't delay too much, don't make it too fast, but as you're ready, submit it, double check, submit it actually. And one student is saying, sir, my inter-college name has a spelling mistake and MCA certificate. Is there any problem uh, with that spelling mistakes in the names of inter and uh, MCA? Sir, so that is not specifically needed for now. But later during the verification, they can provide an affidavit telling that all the, the, the following information is true. Yeah. No, the problem I have seen, most of the students carry this uh, issues of a uh, difference in the 10th or difference in the 12th throughout the preparation and even during the examination and all. I think these don't matter right now. Whatever is the degree name and whatever these things, that should be fine. Don't worry about small, small issues and uh, worry about uh, your exam and what will happen to that. Don't carry these things. That should be okay. Just match your degree and your name. That should be fine. Um, and uh, exam ke baad verification hota hai sab agar transfer ke liye or university name change ke liye yes sir. yeah after exam that can be done admission ke time contractor uh, fake admission letter diye to kaisa pata chalega okay i am not sure about what you are asking ramesh so you have to genuinely look at the university letter right so whatever your university has provided you that would work not the from the any cons consultancies is the passing certificate Sir. as a mark sheet or do we have to have a separate passing degree certificate? Passing certificate, is it same as the mark sheet? But there's no specific requirement of any passing certificate. Uh, there are only three documents to be uploaded. One is your degree copy, your passport first and last page and your eligibility certificate or need a scorecard. Okay. So degree copy is not the mark sheet, right? The separate the degree that they list and give. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, sir, how to concentrate on these last few days? Last uh, few days, one student is on that. The one, sir, you you would be. <laughs> we'll come definitely live uh, for that again sometime. And uh, today, let's focus on this thing. But uh, we'll have a session for that too. But only thing I'll say is that you know what, this is the most important part of the whole thing, which you are entering now, because now the. Now, date is in front of you, and you know, we get more serious. At least I get more serious than okay, 20 January is the date. I'm sitting at like this date now, this much time left. So, I can be more organized now. So, get more organized and try to extract maximum out of the day. You know, like one day you waste to by I don't feel like studying, I have to go there or here or whatever. Versus one day you can revise complete psychiatry and complete dermatology also. You have, you have the choice. You have the choice. So I would say be internally driven and be very clear. I would not waste a single day. Though we'll come out again on some other, you know, we'll we'll be there to help you out. But today is about the FMG form. One student is asking, sir, there are two dates on degree. What is the day of passing? One is the day of passing in which there is a confusion on the top, which states by the state certificate commission of June 29. And at the bottom, it is July 17. Uh, two dates on the degree. One on the top, June. Issue 20. date, sir. Usually, the thing is, uh, the the 
the exam date, the final exam date also would be mentioned. That would be confusing for a lot of students. But the date of issue of the degree, which is in the bottom of the degree, should be considered. Okay. Will I find uh, Delhi Center after a few days? If I fill after a few days. I think Dr. Khalil has really made the life easy for you by saying that when you are ready, submit it. Yes. You know, like be like that's why we are not talking about anything. Right now we know it's a priority. Let us collect our documents, make them in the proper format, check them, double check them, and one final check and then submit. You know what? Uh, and many students are need not confused with the passport signature. You can write your full name as a proper signature and go ahead with that. And uh, as the surnames have been there, okay, I think Akhil, you need not worry about it. Do, do, go with what is there in your degree, right, for the name. And uh, I think I think most of the queries we have answered, sir. And uh, any students you feel that we haven't come up or any other uh, queries that we have missed out. And uh, Dr. Utvik, you have a demo with you. I mean, can you share the screen and uh, show how the whole process goes through? You know, some, some basic information. So yeah, I can go around in the, the whole thing. Yeah, I think uh, a, a postal can be filled up in uploading in Russian. And uh, uh, that is what uh, many of the students are also telling. Uh, Rutvik, you, you, you have any clarity on this? Apostle yeah, uh, so the apostle a lot of times have in, is done in the local language in local countries. So you can go with the Russian apostle or the uh, local language apostle. Should not be an issue, right? Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. But the degree certificate, as I repeat, should be only in English. Okay. Uh, sir, actually, you know, for the precaution, I would suggest everyone to do everything in English because last time one student got a stuck cell. Okay. So... Uh, Okay, so I think we have Dr. Utvik. Dr. Utvik has assisted a lot of our students that arise to fill up the application form. So I had invited him to because he'll have more of uh, in the hand uh, experience of all the queries, various queries students have. And uh, he'll go through, he'll run through the entire process. I think, uh, Utvik, if you can uh, start off, uh, that will help us, you know, all the students understand how to go through the process. Yeah. Uh, so the basic application uh, as we start. Uh, the thing it is available on uh, oh, if you can on Google you can try in nbfmg or nb.edu so this opens up to the portal and uh, in which we shall go with the first part that is the registration form link here there are two divisions uh, one comes the first comes the registration part as I mentioned specifically there are certain information which uh, can't be edited those are the primary information what you will be uh, this you need to start off with telling I'm the applicator submit and uh, these are the basic uh, things they mentioned is that the screen, uh, uh, is the screen yeah. uh, moving no uh, no no it's the screen uh... It's still showing Google uh, homepage. Yeah. I think, Ruthvik, you need to reshare the screen. And uh, one student, sir, Dr. Shruti Sharma is asking, Rajasthan mein seats fill ho gaye. Uh, shall I wait for Rajasthan to open or shall I apply in different state? Uh, Dhawan, sir, you are on mute. This time, number of applicants will be highest probably. So, center will be filled up faster, for sure. So, go for the you know peripheral, whatever place you are getting it. So I, I don't know uh, that whether they will open up again or not because this time they are all they expecting high number of students. Okay. Uh, one unique question. I have applied in 12th with uh, after rechecking and my marks increased. After a few years, I got a new certificate with more marks. But in LULI certificate, old mark is there. Which one to put? Ruthvik, on the LULI certificate, one uh, marks are there and he reapplied to a revaluation and the marks changed. Uh, sir, he will have to upload the new marks as uh, this as of now it's not a problem but during the verification process they're going to cross verify with the current mark sheet what he is updating. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Uthik, please uh, go through the quickly run through the whole process, right? Yes. Uh, so as we mentioned specifically uh, that there is a requirement of basic uh, uh, brochure as uh, it's mentioned here. This browser can be used and uh, and also there is a privacy notice which comes up uh, wherein they are asking uh, the permission from the student or the candidate side for the information what they are submitting. Uh, as I clearly mentioned, a couple of things, uh, the candidate name, uh, the candidate's name, this should be same as in degree certificate. 
Uh, for a demo, I'll be filling my own uh, documents. This is in the same format as it's in my degree certificate. These are the basic information which can't be edited. So the students have to be in Give me okay. a minute, sir. Yeah, we are able to see. You can just write XXXX X, X, X there. Yeah. So these are the basic information what uh, we need to fill with. And also the mail ID. And the students should click on generate OTP. Okay. Students should click on generate OTP and they'll be getting two OTPs, one on the uh, mail and I should, one on mm -hmm. the mail and one on the uh, mobile phone numbers. So accordingly, students can uh, fill those and uh, during the submission, uh, they have to re-verify the information what is provided. And these are the primary information which can't be edited. I will just use a demo of login and if I can be back in a minute, sir, yeah. you can answer the queries of the student. Yeah. Uh, CAS certificate, I think, is not needed, right, uh, for this exam? Ruthvik? No, sir. CAS certificate is not needed. Yeah. Uh, uh, students are appreciating today's session, the one sir, right? Dr. Ramesh is saying, uh, nice session by the one sir today. And uh, uh, please make a timetable about how to crack FMG in 40 days. That will happen, Dr. Faisan, as uh, sir has told. We'll come back with that uh, topics in a few days. Now we'll concentrate on uh, the, the uh, application form mainly. Application, sir, eligibility certificate did not yet uh, come, sir. Waiting for the past three months in the LCD. Four, three corrections came. I corrected and uploaded again when I mailed them. They said it's on process. What else I can do? I think, uh, Ruthvik, you can uh, suggest something. Uh, sir, they'll have to wait as there is a lot of uh, 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 lot of students who are waiting for the same. Uh, NB is taking time to reply, but a lot of uh, students have been given on a daily basis. There are a lot of students who have been obtained with an eligibility certificate. Okay. The one, sir, one student, Dr. Maitri, is asking that we don't have an original degree with, in with us, but we have a Xerox scan copy. Is it okay to upload for now? But <clears throat> again, when the edit window opens, you will have to, I think by that time, you will get it. And, uh, you know, I understand sometimes it's with the agent and you are not getting it. Uh, it's in the process of you, but as uh, Dr. Ruthvig also said that, you will get a chance again to really upload those things, which by chance you're getting later. You know, but don't delay the uh, submission of form because of that only. Yes, Ruthvig? Anything you, you have come across, Xerox of the degree or the actual degree? Anything you have come across with the students anytime in the last few years like that? I don't have the original degree with me, but only a Xerox scan copy. Is it okay to upload? I think it should be fine, right? For now. As the one sir has mentioned, you can get through with the form for the now, and then you can plan to upload it again. And uh, yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, sir. And uh, are there any specifications for uploading the photo? Any particular background or any specifications have been mentioned? Doctor, clear, you... clear background, sir. White yeah. white background. Yeah, preferably just uh, yeah, some uh, some clear background should be there, like right? actually As, uh, the white background, sir. Dr. Ruthvik's background. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think most of the queries we have uh, yeah. answered. Date of passing is the date of on your degree. I think that should be fine, Dheeraj. The date of passing is the date on your degree. Uh, address should not be an issue on the eligibility certificate, Faisan. We have already answered that. Don't worry about address or uh, you know other names. Dr. Mahesh, what, what is the meaning of LCD4 in EC? LCD4 means 
uh, this is actually last stage. After this, you'll be getting your EC very soon. Okay. Like only the last signature is left. Okay. One student is saying there is no particular date of joining in admission later. What should I put? I think a passport uh, entry will be there, right? In the country when they enter or anything can be done. I think you should contact the university also to see where, where they have enrolled. Ruthvik, any idea? If they don't have a date on their admission letter. Can you hear us, Ruthvik? Right. Yeah, Ruthvik, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. A student does not have a date on the admission letter. What? How to proceed? Uh, sir, roughly you can take the month of the admission and there is an year mentioned at least. Like let's say most majority of the students are in 2018 or 2017 batches. So you can consider first of first of their month, particular month and go ahead. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, one student has a unique question. What about passport size photo for which uh, who are wearing hijab? Uh, Ruthvik, you came across any students and queries like that? I think the uh, face... sir, again, again, uh, based on other documentation, like in the in the passport or other documentation based on what they maintain the dress code if there has been previously hijab has been used if they can use it and go forward otherwise the same thing they have to maintain the same thing as in other documents yeah. i'll see that the face is visible i think right yeah awesome. name has to be according to your degree right uh, baskar it, uh, which name should i use for, according to passport eligibility certificate i think uh, according to your degree is the main thing right ruthvik or according to the passport or eligibility certificate degree sir as i mentioned primary qualification is this degree okay Fine. I think we have answered most of the queries and uh, this is uh, really a very productive session I feel for the students at least helps you clear some doubts and helps you to have some you know uh, release of stress and concentrate on on your work especially a crucial two months we didn't want you to get uh, worried or panicked at any queries you have you please drop through Ruthvik I think you should share your uh, number many students are also asking so any queries regarding eligibility certificate or any can anything with the you know application form especially RI students can go to any of the op branches the office staff will help you personally yeah. also and uh, uh, any queries also Ruthvik the many students are asking for that uh, if you have anything but I think it will be a lot of barrage of uh, queries throughout if you are, but I think you should, uh, if you're comfortable, you can share through or any, any office number or anything. Uh, sir, I would personally tell like they're most welcome to RIS Delhi center. So we can help them face to face. Okay. But uh, I think there are a lot of students out of our station also, right? So any, any number for now time being, you can give any. We, we can give our uh, uh, office mail, sir. Uh, RISmedicalRemy.delhi at gmail.com. Okay. So you can write to us and uh, I will we'll try to get back to you know all of your queries also. Then put the email in the chat box. Uh, in yeah. A, yeah, we yeah, have type the, yeah. the email in the chat box. Yeah, the team can. I think I think we'll put our uh, email ID also on the chat box of the YouTube channel, and uh, I hope people can reach out there. But a lot of things have been clarified. I would say in this session also, so students can listen to it uh, who have not joined, and uh, they can get the idea. Yes, sir, Nadim, sir, you were saying something, sir. A query that a student ka actually five six same queries. कि सर मैंने जो नीट यूजी पास किया था 2018 में लेकिन उसका आईडी पासवर्ड मैं भूल गया मैं उसको डाउनलोड नहीं कर पा रहा हूं सो व्हाट टू डू नाउ एप्लीकेशन नंबर विल बी देयर आई गेस दे हैव इट दे मस्ट बी एनी एप्लीकेशन नंबर एट लीस्ट दिस वन डॉक्यूमेंट जनरली द यूजर आईडी पासवर्ड इज बी बट सीबीएसई इज अ सोल प्रोप्राइटरी for this information actually. So they will have to write to CBSC with the application number at the student help desk and uh, retrieve the you know document because that is the only body which has that information. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, payment method has been discussed, Ahmed. We said a UPI or debit card is more ideal to go with. And uh, uh, if you have written the name according to EC, what to do now? I think uh, Rahul, if you can edit it, 
uh, is it possible anything ruthvik they have name is not editable name is not editable it means not editable rahul you have to you know see that it matches your degree mm. if there is a discrepancy then although if they both are same then say i hopefully there is not major difference something yeah yeah if it is the surname name which is the order is a mistake that yeah. it, it it shouldn't be a problem Yeah. if the issue with the surname or the order of the surname or a briefing of the surname should not be an issue to worry should be okay but if there's actual change in the name then that then better to match with your degree mm. university transfer which name to be filled the name of the degree that you have obtained divya and uh, that should be better can we use the same passport that we submitted on university passport size photographs i think it's okay bilasha but if you have a recent one that is better what do you say rutvik you had Six months, sir. Uh, the passport as the passport side photo they use has to be recent or within less than six months time. Okay. Okay. My father's name has one letter extra on NEET scorecard, but all other documents is the correct one. What should I? I don't think father's name is big issue. Your name should match. That should be fine. What do you say, Rupik? Yes, sir. Father's name shouldn't be a problem. The name of the candidate is very important. Okay, Doctor Google is asking, "Ah, uh, Zada passing ratio, which se center ka hai?" <laughs> Rutvik, <laughs> send all our RI students to that center only then. Ah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Roshni, we will we will be there. Okay, you can uh, take support. Of, uh, we will be require whatever help you need. We will be there to, to help you. Okay, so offline and online, there is no you know you don't have to worry. We will still uh, support you. Mm. I think uh, most of the queries have been uh, done, and yes, uh, thank you so much uh, for the uh, time taken out, the ones especially after a hectic day, and uh, you have a lot of uh, programs also piled up. I really appreciate the time that you have come in to see that uh, there is uh, calming of nerves, uh, especially of the students during this phase. Since afternoon, there have been a barrage of questions, and all these. I think I think we have taken a lot of variety of questions that should uh, ease out for a lot of students' uh, discussions yes. also. Special yeah. thanks to Dr. Ruthvik actually because uh, uh, I think inputs from Ruthvik have been really very you know I think for us also to be very honest you know because uh, Ruthvik deals with so many students uh, in the center so he has faced all these queries in person so finally you have reached one answer so. i think it's a good resource for the future batches also they can come back to this video and listen to that and probably get the clarification yeah thank you so much uh, daman sir and thank you so much dr nadeem for joining and for your valuable advice to the students and uh, thank you so much rutvik for all the effort that you do for the students at the uh, arise delhi also and for the entire process uh, to facilitate this process and thank you everyone for joining and uh, i hope you all have a successful application filling and uh, not just a successful application also a successful result at the end of okay? it best wishes with all of you guys best wishes right? good luck best everyone. wishes do good it best wishes for all of you fill up your awesome. form very you. positively and you hopefully you know you will have a good uh, good end result also okay all the best guys thank you, you. you submit the form uh, take blessing of your parents and almighty and click the button submit <laughs> okay thank you everybody okay all the best sure. okay. thank you bye take care